Hey everybody and welcome back to Sonic Cat Plays Adam RPG. This is episode 61, I believe. I believe. Uh, now, like I told you before, getting ready for the move. Things are hectic. I'm I'm trying to, you know, get my life kind of in order here while I uh, while I get ready to do all this kind of fun stuff. It's not really that fun. It's like a a real long drive and Oh, we've done it. Let's go. Why was this so hard to do? Ow. What? Oh, that's not good. I think we're actually going to die. Holy shit. That grenade was too much. Yo, you cannot be shooting our own teammates. I thought I made this perfectly abundantly clear to you. Now I can't shoot that. How are you guys doing? Hey Fidel, how you feeling? Are you dead? Nah, he's he's good. He's good. He's just, you know, a little bit under the weather right now, but I think he'll I think he'll come through. Uh let's see, we need Shoot him in the shoot him in the eye. It's not great. Oh fuck you. Oh fuck you, dude. Yeah, this is so raw. Fidel, are you still alive? Yeah, okay. It's good. No, it's fine. We got it. Everything's fine. You just... You're good, dude. Just, um, please don't cease to be. <laughs> please do not cease to be. Let's move three. Because I can move three and get away with it. Let's just... Oh, we could just end that guy right now, but I'm not worried about his damage. I'd rather put a bullet, like, straight through this guy's brain, his brain piece. I'm okay with taking some damage here. Fidel is almost dead. I need them to attack me instead of Fidel. You shot Fidel! He was on the ground, laying fucking down! How did you shoot him? Oh, why are you using Caspiramid, Fidel? You have stim packs, you huge dummy. You giant dummy. You giant idiot. I believe in my team. I believe in my team. Listen, I need y'all to attack me and not anyone else. Perfect. Oh, I swear to Christ, if you shoot Fidel and he dies, there will be no forgiveness. There will be no forgiveness. Oh, Fidel ain't feeling good, but my team is going for it. They're going for broke Fidel. Okay, he used some stim packs or something. We're, we're closing in. You guys are running out of chances. Uh-oh. He's fine. That guy's dead. That guy's super dead. Oh, is this my kill right now? Is this me? Is this me? I got it, boys. Hold on. I just need to get... If I could just... Um, hello? <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? Hold on. I can't see him? <laughs> I'm, I'm, at, I, I have no shot. I have no shot to this guy who's... What? I can, like, spit on him directly. Doesn't make me very happy. Are you kidding me? What a bunch of garbage! I'm gonna drown in the lake! Okay, Fidel, you and I need to have a discussion. You have stim packs. You even have super stim packs. Why the shit are you using Casperamid to heal yourself? What a huge dummy! 
Do I need to make sure that these guys don't have... Why would he use Kasperimet over a, a, a Super Stim? Do I need to hang on to the Kasperimet? That was ridiculous. That was just... That was straight up garbage. I am straight up not having a good time right now. I can't believe I got knocked down after I took a shot to the leg. That feels so bad. I almost died. We almost died. Fidel spent half of that game on the floor. So, I mean, at least he lived. I guess. Maybe it would have taught him a good lesson if he died. Fidel, this is what you get. This is what you get for dying. I don't really want to take it. Well, we finally got our slaver fight. That was fun. I wished we could have opened it up our way. But hey, you know what? You don't always get everything that you want. But sometimes you might find you get what you need. Which in this case is not true. We did not get what we needed. Uh, I'm not even sure what it is that we needed. I don't think there was really anything, but it sounds kind of nice to say. You can keep that. I don't need it. Let's go over here and uh, I know one of our guys has some tea. Why don't we go ahead and make some tea? I think it's Hexogen that has our tea. Do you have tea? Oh, you know what? Give me one of those. I'll use one. Who has our tea? Which one of you idiots is carrying our tea? Is it Fidel? Oh, it's Fidel. I appreciate you. You know I do. Let's make some coffee. Make some tea. Warm up some canned food. I I had canned food. Roast some meat. Perfect. We've done all the things. Uh, hold on. I can give Fidel some stuff. Uh, you can have that and that. And I don't really want to give you those. Where is Alexander? No, it's Hexogen. I want Alexander. Thank you. Uh, you can have that, and you can hold on to those, too. Uh, let me give the drugs to Fidelio. Fidel, that's you. That's you, buddy. This is you. You're our drug guy. I appreciate it. Okay, we're done here. Feels good. And now that, now that we got our slaver fight, now that we got our slaver fight out of the way, now I feel like we can go and do other stuff. What are we going to do? I have no idea. We need Fang still. Hmm. Hmm. Let's... We didn't spend too much time there. Let's go check out... Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely. As long as there's no dynamite. Probably this guy is going to have the dynamite, isn't it? Actually, they all have weapons out. Yo, you guys are about to get mur- Oh, it's, it's her. Oh, what a shot, Fidel. Okay, check this out. I'm going to handle this girl. Handled. 200 goodbye she had dynamite 100% she did oh never good never feels very good when that happens i'm gonna shotgun this dude and it's gonna feel great you have walked directly into my trap oh mm -mm. okay well i was gonna you know handle that but that's fine that's fine you know you i'll just you know Set up an amazing play, and you guys can just ruin it for me, which seems to be your M.O. I get it. Oh, it's all... Come on, don't make me do this. Why? Why? Why you gotta... One. Don't make me come after you. I really hate going after people. She's doing exactly what I didn't want her to do. Or I'm gonna go get ready to loot all these guys, I guess. I'll be I'll be over here if you need me. I think you guys kinda have it under control though. I don't think my presence over there is necessary. Don't shoot each other in the back. I see how you guys are lining up. 
Oh, no, Fidel with like a really classy shot right over Hextagen's shoulder. What what a great shot, honestly. I hear wolves. That's kind of neat. I don't think I've ever heard wolves before. Uh, take their coffee. I don't really want a regular ass stim pack. I also don't want meat. But maybe I should take meat because we can just toss it into our car or whatever. I just don't really feel all that pressing of a need to, to loot absolutely. I mean, if the car is right here, even the car being right here, I'm kind of like, ah, eh, do we really need that? Did you just walk right in front of me when I'm trying to get to the body? You idiot. You idiot. As John Wolf would say, idiot. Where are we going? Krasno. Why? I don't know. But nevertheless, that's where we're going. Uh, let's see. Let's save. We're supposed to do the wolf thing. Isn't that convenient? We may actually finish this right now. I don't... I think... Really? That was a... That was a tough wolf. Okay, so let's make sure we do this right. I need a knife. Which one of you has a knife? Oh, he's okay. You have two tiger machetes. I think you can spare a knife. There we go. I, I guess it had happened so long ago that the game had told me, hey, you kind of need a, you know, a knife or whatever that I had just completely forgotten. We have 12, okay. How many fangs do we have now? We must be like one short if we haven't already hit it. Oh, 27. Oh, we're actually like quite a few short. Never mind. Let's, uh, let's continue our journey. Why are we going to Krasno? I don't rightly know. But let's go, no, 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 there was a quest here. There was a quest here that... That guy's already done. I know we're supposed to go back to the mountain pass of woes and all that. Let's go check this, yeah, the guy's selling bottles. I'm not falling for that garbage again. Just so you know. Let's go check in with our trader friends. What you got? What you got? You got you got nothing. You have an expensive bulletproof vest that I definitely don't care for. I can find them way cheaper somewhere else. How does that feel? Yeah, probably not very good. Maybe you should lower your prices, idiot. By the way, today's tea is brought to you by it's called like Tian Jang Wu Black Dragon Oolong. And let me tell you, it is very tasty. Uh, let's stop by our weapon seller friend. We're light on 545. Uh, and because we're using so much Dragnov, I probably would buy that too if he has it, which he probably does. Let's see what we got. Okay, has uh, some interesting stuff. I don't really care about most of this. Let's just unload everything that he has just to make sure we're not missing out on any ammo types. Uh, armor piercing, we'll take those. We'll take those, we need them. Hell yeah, 90 more, and some of those. And armor piercing those. I love this guy, he always has such a good stock. That's 4,000, we'll check it out. I have 4,000, and you can have it. Perfect. Don't worry, we'll make a ton of money out on the road. Uh, okay, we were supposed to... Oh god, I forgot where we were supposed to go for our quest here. Uh, let's go in here just to see if there's anyone that has any quests. Strip club. We normally don't come to this kind of a place. You look important. You see a middle-aged man with a bushy mustache, full lips, large eyes, friend with a black eyeshadow. He gives a naughty, lustful look from under his old-fashioned hussar's cap, which he wears alongside a comically huge golden epaulets, probably stole from a local theater. Without turning his gaze from you, the awkward stranger slowly licks his lips and moans. 
What are you doing here, young man? I didn't order any sweets, but don't worry. I won't return I won't return such a succulent morsel back to the kitchen. That would be a true crime. <laughs> true crime. Now then, my name is General Nasty. Doesn't mean I can't be tender though. Yo, this dude is awesome. Is the boy here to join the ranks of the army of lovers? I'll have you know my precious child is already a member of the army, the Red Army. While you look nothing like the military and only like someone who puts certain oblong objects into his mouth. Damn. Get him, Hexagen. Oh, you want to play like that, old man? Those oblong objects are, of course, toothbrushes. See how your teeth gleam and shine, ready to bite into the innocent flesh of my dear, humble, virginal child? Oh, that's what you meant. Oof. And this here is our, lo our local curiosity, Sonic Cat. They call him General Nasty. Hell yeah, they do. Mmm, that's me, ready to molest and serve the nation. Hell yeah. I don't- I don't need this shit today. I'll see you. What is this army of, uh, lovers you mentioned about? He lifts his head up proudly. By your mere interest, you're already promoted to the rank of private. I'll call you Private Hard Buns. <laughs> but don't worry, I won't make you stand on your knees, close your eyes, and open your mouth to pledge allegiance. Unless you want to. But still, you have to climb the ranks by helping your general in his need. Wow. We should change the subject. What is this thrust? My strategy is simple, even a child can understand it. However, it's strictly for those of legal age. Have you ever heard this boring old theory that as the civilization becomes more and more advanced, it also becomes more and more corrupt and morally bankrupt? Normalizing sexual deviations and praising those who in all other times would be considered mentally ill degenerates? Well, I mean, look at who we're talking to. Well, honey buns, I believe this theory can also work the other way around. See, our civilization is no way advanced more like poor and borderline primitive. But if we introduce it to the highest levels of degeneracy, it might just push everyone in the right direction towards success, obviously. For this push, we must create a porn film so perverse that everyone will start working for a better tomorrow. This is simply Jisneyus. Genius? Jisneyus? Uh, okay, I mean like, if I'm getting paid, don't worry about a thing, darling. Now onto the actors. First thing I'll need another man. Someone like Bamboola, the strong man from the local circus. We also need some pretty ladies. Pravoskia Pai, the dominatrix, and the cutie, innocent little tightrope acrobat, Ag Agafia, who has a lusty dark side. We'll do just right. They're at the circus. Uh, so those are the actors I picked. Now I need someone to actually go to the circus near that old plane crash spot and talk them into fil filming a porno. What do you say, Private Hard Buns? Hell yeah, let's do it. Sticks his manicured nail into a certain spot. Man's gonna die. He's gonna die, that's it. Fine. We'll go do it. I'm not thrilled. But this is what, this is what we're doing. I guess this is it. <laughs> let's talk to her. Or her. Uh, she is looking at her book. Could you answer a couple questions? Doesn't look like she has any work. I have plenty of things to do. There's usually a lot of work. You just happen to come in on a quiet day. Are there usually more? Well, I see you like reading. It's very rare in the wasteland. I like men who read books. It's so unusual these days. Intellect, maybe you could tell me about your favorite authors. I'll tell you about mine. The woman looks at you half smiling. Why not discuss the issue if you're interested? There's a cool and quiet bathroom here. We could have a cigarette and a literary chat here unless Z Zenaida Petrovna interferes, of course. Um, yo, are we about to just go? Uh, guys, I'm gonna need y'all to wait outside. So just, yeah, no, no, no. If you guys could just stay out there, that'd be great. Um, Listen, I need No, it's it's fine. I'm going to I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to shut the door. Just stay there. The woman smokes her arms crossed. As she sees you, she gives you a languishing look and cocks her head. My name is Zana, by the way. Nice to meet you, Zana. The pleasure's mine. I've always considered intelligence a man's highest virtue. Discuss nuances of literature. I can't I can't zoom in. Oh, whoa. 
They're having fucking sex in here and I They ah uh, the game all oh, game. You're the worst. I can, Is there a window? Oh, is there a win? I can maybe There I can't ah, uh, there's a window, but I can't see Oh, they're having such a great time Yo, this is the greatest But we're not talking literature at all. They're not saying anything about literature. I'm beginning to think that this wasn't about the literature. Damn, they're having a grand old time. Hello? Oh. I hope no one walks in this bathroom. Like none of my, none of my people. That was a very fruitful Oh, thanks guys. See, I knew, I knew you could do it. I healed, <laughs> I healed HP. You know how to make a surprise, Mr. Ryder. Damn. Yo, we just straight up nailed that girl in the bathroom. Go us. I mean, the bathroom's probably not like a great, great place. Uh, what is it? Uh, I'm, I'm usual. I need your help. I don't know whether or not you've talked to the other hospital staff, but we here treat only residents of our city. They need to pay hard-earned cash for anyone else. You have barter? I'm hunger. Oh, I'm hungry right now. That makes sense. Do you have any work? You seem like a smart young fellow. I'm working on a new kind of antidote. However, I need one last and very rare ingredient to start testing. Without this ingredient, I can't let the product hit the market. It would just be unethical. So I can do it. Perfect. Yes, you understand correctly. However, first I have to ask whether or not you're familiar with the art of disjointing insects and spider-like mutants. Uh, yeah, actually I do. Fantastic. Well, in that case, listen, I'm working on a new antidote. It's meant to be more effective and at the same time easier to make than old pre-war antidotes. I'm only missing a spider's lymph node. And a regular spider isn't going to cut it. It has to be the lymph node from the... Arachnidus Civeticus species. It was named by the hunter who first discovered them, and it's a monster more scary than any spider. Arachnidus lymph nodes contains great amounts of natural antidote. However, the mutant itself is very aggressive, and I imagine it won't be willing to give up its, its lymph nodes without a fight. Good that I don't need a lot. Okay, I mean, I can do that. Can be found in the eastern wastelands. Cool. Let's go do these new quests. Hold on, first I need to eat because, I mean, not like I didn't just already, but. Let's go ahead and just scarf one of those down. And then just drop the garbage right on their floor, I'd say is probably a good spot. Let's just talk to this guy too, just to be sure that he didn't have anything else. Come around for a chat. Oh, okay, he doesn't have any time for chatting. That's fine. We'll just... We'll just fuck right off then, I guess, Doc, because you don't want to talk to people who are friendly. I'm friendly. But that's fine. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Let us continue. We are going to go out to the wastelands. We've already talked to that guy. Is there anyone else who looks interesting that we may not have spoken to? Let's talk to this guy, the bookseller. Have we been in here? We may not have been in that building either. Do you have anything else for us? How's business going? That's my pleasure. My goods in exchange for your hard-earned gift. He doesn't really have much else. Let's go check out this building. I don't know what this is and after this i think we're gonna leave oh this is just a house oh right that's the guy that murdered himself right 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 i didn't want that guy to murder himself but what are you gonna do can't stop the story from happening so we need to go to the eastern wastelands and we need to uh the circus, too. 
But I'm just more feeling like I want to do the Eastern Wastelands because I want to get like one or two more fights in here before we before we wrap up because we are kind of at our, our time already, surprisingly. But we can go a little over it just to get a couple fights in here. Also, wouldn't be the worst thing to like... He like flagged us down. Hey, hey car! Hey car, please stop! We weren't having it. You know, I bet they could have... Really, we're hungry again? I bet the DLC may even open up this area, you know? Anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll take a fight. I know this isn't the fight that we wanted, but we should be able to make quick work of it. Aimed. Where are they? No, that's us. Where are they? Over here somewhere? I would assume? That? No, that's not a person. Hello? Oh, they're down here. Oh, they're right there. You're kind of scary looking. You have an RPD. Cool. Well, guess what? It's about to be my RPD. Check this out. You're gonna love this. Watch this. Oh! Oh! Hey, your leader! He's dead. He's out. Who wants to fight? The guy's like, oh no, he did it. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna run him down with our shotguns. Let me tell you how incredibly not worried I am about any of you actually making it even remotely close to us. This guy has a chance to do some damage. Oh, here we go. He's gonna fight. No, he's hiding. I mean, this guy just ran out of cover directly to us. It's fine. So, what's uh, your move? Oh, he's gonna come out and shoot? His one shot. His one shot that he had. I'm so sorry, buddy. It's... It's over. He had one shot and he missed it. He blew his... He blew his chance. We just smoked that group of them. Uh, because, I, again, I can just toss it in the car. I will take the extra stuff. Oh, this guy did not even get a chance to use it. We got all of his ammo and all of his guns and all of his everything. I love it. Here, hold on to that. Don't use it, just hold on to it. Okay. Okay, I should have should not have given it to Hexogen. Hexogen's an idiot. Just how it goes. We will take that ammo. Uh, do I want any of the rest of this stuff? Maybe like a stim pack, I guess. Hexogen, I really wish you would not just automatically equip that crap. It would be so nice if you could just designate the weapon that you want your teammates to use. Uh, that would save me a lot of headache, honestly. Do you need to hold on to this? You don't, right? Because this uses Dragnov rounds, and you're not using Dragnov rounds. But I don't want to get rid of it, is the thing. That's the problem. Yeah, I think it's fine. It's fine to have, uh, you know, a couple of backup weapons. Perfect. Neat. How great is that? Okay, we cleaned everything up. We're, what are we doing? We're, all right, we're looking for a fight. I know we're over. Let's just try to get like one scourge of the Eastern Wasteland spider fight. I mean, I'm in the Eastern Wastelands. Maybe we'll just drive through the canyon. We'll just escape that one. I don't really want to waste... Uh, a ton of fuel doing this, but I feel like we could at least <clears throat> we could at least get like one fight. Oh, you know, you know what I was thinking of? I was thinking that I'm gonna make myself a chicken salad sandwich for lunch, and it's sounding real good. I made some chicken last night. I'm gonna cut it up, cube it, throw it in with some Greek yogurt, some lemon, some garlic, some pepper. It's gonna be good, and I I I can't tell you how excited I am for that to happen. Uh, caravan. Hello, hello. What do you? What do you have? You have nothing. You have nothing. 
You have nothing and I hate you. And don't ever waste my time again. Let's just one more. Just one more fight would be great. And especially if we can get an, a scourge of the eastern wasteland fights. I hate all this driving around, but like... Can we get spider fights if we're in our car? Oh, a slaver fight. I'll take it. We could die. I hate... I hate when you just open up a freaking fight by top... That's such garbage. Oh my god. What? That... I don't care what level you are. Throwing three grenades into your group of people is... You, you're not gonna survive that. What was I supposed to do? That's some horse shit. Wow. There was, there was literally nothing I could do about that. There was no play. There was no strategy. There was nothing that was going to allow me to survive that many grenades tossed right into my, my group. Like, I'm all for finding harder fights because these are obviously very easy. Uh-oh. Can we kill him before he spins that ammo that definitely belongs to me? God damn it. I saw the percentage and I uh, my finger just let go of the button and then as soon as I did I was like I've done this before. I shouldn't shoot because I've done this before. It ends poorly. And I just I couldn't stop my finger from coming off of the trigger fast enough. All right, well I'm just going to take it out on these bandits. Unfortunately for them. Oh, he actually moved out of the way. All right, we're going to do this fight and then we're going to wrap it up. Hexagen took zero damage. Bulletproof vest. Oh, you dick. Guys, can we stop shooting over my shoulder, please? Can we please stop shooting over my shoulder? I'm gonna move back here. So you dick, stop it. Oh, they're trying to they're trying to collapse on you guys. What are you gonna do? Oh, they're making short work. No, I'm not huh. Oh, almost did it again. Let's try this the smart way. See, that would have been Hexogen's head, right? Wow. Sit down. Literally, I guess. Oh, Hexogen, that's like a... It's like a real questionable place to be shooting from. Let's just move over here. Please don't kill each other. We've... Honestly, I worry more about my team killing each other than I ever worry about enemies killing me. And that's like not a good sign. In the turn. Oh, please. You're just... You're just delaying the inevitable. It's just really... How can I not shoot him? Just blow him away. Goodness. Goodness me. Oh, it's just an empty bottle. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll take it. Guess we'll take the stim packs and the paper. Alright, that felt good. It felt real bad after that slaver fight, because really, what was I supposed to do? 
Oh, dragon on rounds. Hell yeah. You know, like, you, you just... I, I got into that fight and was already dead. It, uh, it, that was unfortunate. I would really love if... So here's the thing, right? I really wanted a slaver fight, but then I got one and it was like, well, this is, this is not fun. But I think if you had a chance, if you had a chance to instead kind of start the, start the fight on your own terms, instead of just being put into a fight and it being like, by the way, this is kind of it. You're stuck here. Like, the, they're already attacking you. You kind of don't have a choice. <clears throat> you know, it would be it would be different if they're like, hey, you get, you know, one turn to kind of maybe figure out how to set up your guys a little bit or something. Anyway, it's fine. Because it wasn't like it happened halfway into the fight. It just happened right away. So while I'm upset that it happened, I'm, eh, what are you going to do? I like how we're storing all this raw meat in our in our car. I guess we'll just start storing drugs in there too. Like Fidel has enough of them on him already. Oh, I have a ton of those that I need to give away. Uh, Hexogen, you burned through a lot of these. <clears throat> 45. Here, there's like a hundred more for you. And I still have 344. You are using Dragunov ammo, and you're good. Yeah, I mean, we're all set here. Let's hop in. We're going to wrap up there. This was episode 61. As always, you know I love talking to you guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And uh, just, yeah, we're ticking down the clock until that new patch comes out. There's going to be some new quests. Oh, mod support. I'm going to keep saying it. Mod support, guys. That's important. And then the DLC, oh, in the near future, like a whole pack, I'm assuming. Day one, very excited. Burn bright, everybody.